Welcome to the DMG Zone. I'm Scott. And I'm Hunter. Today we're going to look at how to install mods onto your new ARC server. Um, one of the best things about ARC is the fact that all these mods that you can do and it makes it look cool or they do certain things and kind of enhance the game. So um, it is a little bit of a complicated process. There's a couple of steps. You want to make sure you have a pencil and paper ready. So if you don't, go grab that now and put us on hold and come back to us when you got it. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to Steam. Okay, and you're going to go to your Arc Survival Evolve. This is where it'll come up to. The next thing you're going to do is go down to the Steam Workshop. This is where you're going to find your mods. Okay, um, today we'll be looking at the Steampunk mod just because that's one that we haven't downloaded yet. Um, you want to make sure you're looking for the Arc Certified one and it has a rating. Make sure that you're not picking a fake one. Okay. Now you're going the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to hit subscribe. Okay? And you'll notice that some games require launch. We'll get to that in just a second. Another thing you're going to want to do is right down here there is the mod ID. This is very important. This is kind of how the program identifies what mod you want in there in the whole 9 yards and you'll see that that number plays a big part later on. So you want to write this mod ID down. Uh, 67, 95, 29, 0, 26. Okay, now just do a quick check in your library. Go down to downloads, if I can get it to click. You'll see it is almost ready here. It does take a couple of seconds depending on the mod. Okay, now it's ready to play. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to push play from in, in here. You can just open up the game, whatever you want to do. Now I'm not sure if it's going to show it between things because my uh, recording software likes to lag a little bit with things and it's doing it to me again. Um, but when you open this up you'll see on the bottom right hand corner down here, up oh, there it is, you can see it says installing one mod steampunk mod and then it goes away. Okay, when once that goes away it doesn't show it on the screen I'm not sure my, my recording software is kinda funky when you're going in and out of gameplays but um you just hit exit on that once it's down done installing okay then you can minimize this now what you want to do is you're gonna go into your actual arc survival folder okay for the default it's your C program, programs 86, you're going to go down to Steam, you're going to go down to Steam Apps, Common, Arc, Shooter Game, and then Content, and then Mods. I'll leave this um, command down there, or the file name down there. This should be your default. If you've changed it, where the change will come in is basically, hold on, let me see if I can get more of this to show. You might have changed it here, you, or you might have, eh, it shouldn't be changed here, but you probably changed it somewhere in this area. Everything from that on should be the same. Now, as you noticed, okay, these are the numbers of the mods, mod ID numbers that we wrote down earlier. Now you're going to have to need two things. As you can see there's the 65, 95, 29, 0, 26. You're going to need this folder and the accompanying file with it which is 67. Okay. So what I like to do is just put it up here like so. Okay. And of course it covered my ARC server. Okay, so if you put it up there, come on, be a good girl. There we go. All right, and then what I do is take my ARC server now, and you want to open up your folder. If you've lit, done our tutorials, it's on your desktop already. So you go into Shooter Game, Config, and then you go, I'm sorry, I lied. 
shooter game content and then you'll go into mods okay now as you can see oops of course not as you can see there are no mods in there as of right now so what will happen is you just take the 67 folder you're gonna copy it paste it okay and then you'll take the file copy it paste it okay and that's now it should appear in there I almost forgot we need to go through one more step and basically what it is is it's in the server now now we just have to turn it on so what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring up your arc server you're gonna go into shooter game and then you're gonna go into config and then back into the default user settings okay it'll bring up this page right here and you're gonna add, no you're not gonna add a slash you're gonna add a line and you're gonna put active mods I'm not sure if it has to be capitalized but that's the way I saw it I know that's the way it works okay and then you're gonna hit equals the active mods equals and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna use that um, mod ID again which is 70 uh, 67 95 29 0 26 okay and then what we're gonna do is now we are gonna save this close out of that close out of that and we are going to go in and fire up our server okay now we have our server running and we have the game launched okay so Again, you're just going to go into join arc. Maybe even do, there we go. Your server should be there under the land setting as, if you follow the directions for the last two tutorials. Um, and you're going to hit join. Type in your password. Now, when you hit accept, you'll also notice right. Okay, remember that glitch that I told you about? That it restarts it? I think we're going to finally experience that live or recorded on computer don't know why it does it but I'm kinda glad it did it for you guys because that way it's not me just going crazy um, but you can also see that all you do is hit accept it'll go through now you'll see it joining and you should see loading mods and then right after this a real quick one it says load mods one of one if you have 10 mods it's gonna say one of 10 two of 10 blah 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 but that's a good sign that means that you do have the mods coming up okay and as you can see the I'm dying already but I don't really care because it's a new server and here's all the pretty steampunk stuff so that's basically how you add a mod to your server it is a little complicated it is a little it's a little more in depth than just you know throwing it in and you know hoping for the best if you have any questions leave them in the comments I'll be try to answer as many as I can um, give us a like give us a subscribe that helps us out so much um, we're looking to get up to the 10,000 mark and we're slowly getting there but uh, I, I would like to hopefully a little quicker with your guys help so if you're you got a friend or somebody that wants to see how to do a arc server you want to see how to do an arc server keep on clicking us and see all the above and whatever else you want to see let me know maybe I'll be able to do a video for a tutorial for you have a great day and we will see you on the other side.